Alright. Looks like we will be getting into this game here. And we will soon see the picks and bans. First ban coming out, Draven. Not sure why Ichigo's ban Draven each match. Maybe it's a hate ban. Maybe it's just a, you know, just a ban. I, I don't really know. Maybe they've had bad Dravens, but he is early aggressive. And <laughs> they banned out that Zillion, seeing how clutch he was in the last game. Absolutely. That, that really kind of... Oh, and there's the Twitch man. Lots of hate banning coming out that. here. You can clearly tell they were watching that last game. <laughs> Definitely. The yeah. Hecarim ban. Then we'll have to play we'll the guessing game. We'll have to play, we'll have to play I Spy for what the last ban ends up becoming. Sent Sentel going to be picking that up. And where is it? It's a Moo Moo. So they were just hate banning against Ichigo. Picking up that Rumble, though, getting at least one champion that I think they're really friendly on. Not sure what they're going to do as far as team comps yet, though. Rumble's just, uh, you know, he's really versatile right now, so he can go top or mid. A lot of people don't realize how effective Rumble is mid lane. So, you know, assuming that their mid laner is comfortable on Rumble, that's, that's really a safe pick. Um, Tarek coming out. He's just going to want to look to punish that bot lane. Try to catch one of them out, especially if he were to pick someone you know, squishier. And one thing I noticed, Jarvan is not banned in this game. So, And I noticed that uh, that purple team is not picking up Jarvan right away. So we'll have to see how that ends up going. Because as you know, Tarek Jarvan an extremely deadly combo right now. Absolutely. If they lock in the Zed pick, if you also notice, Kale is not banned, and Kale has been a really popular pick. And if they were to say pick Kale and go against Zed, Kale's ultimate pretty much just completely shuts down Zed. It removes the mark of the death, and you just it just completely lowers his damage. So they would, if they were to pick Kale against Zed, they essentially are taking Zed out of the game. Very true, and we have a singed. I hope he locks in that pick because I'd like yes, singed. Oh, already a great game. You know, you know what would win my heart over? Ramus, Ramus. Yeah, I I have a soft spot in my heart for Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger. I I really want at some point Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger was seen in in a pro level play, I believe, in Korea recently. They just pushed down mid lane. They took like three towers ten minutes in. Yeah, that's what yeah. Heimerdinger's good at, but unfortunately most of the time he's the uh, he's the champion that everyone hovers over and no one picks. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like we will have a Mantheon too. Another really awesome pick that I like to see. Taking that teleport, even though he already has a Skyfall, but it could, could net him some early kills. And it looks like you made someone in the chat very happy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, will this luck pick get locked in? Yes, it will. It's like they have a really interesting team comp. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the Pantheon. Oh, a Sijuani. That would be interesting. You don't really see Sijuani at all. Now it looks like if oh, it looks like if if I had to call what Ichigo is doing, is they have a pretty pretty good aggressive. You know, just AOE team comp. Like, we saw that they had a really good AOE. Oh, never mind. Going for Tristana. Also another good pick. I, I, it's, I'm just going to I'm just gonna wait. i got to yeah, see I'm, what I'm just waiting to look it in. out. So seeing what he's going to lock in. And, uh, and the Ezreal will be locked in. So, again, just lots of AOE. Sichuani can just dive in their team. Lulu can ult. Rumble can do the same. Uh, you know, pretty much singe. So they have three really, really good frontline champions. And then Ezreal and... You know, Ezreal and Lulu just to provide support, and and there's you the Terra, the Terra Graves. See a Graves, yeah. Graves really fell off. He used to be part of that Holy Trinity. I believe Misfortune kind of took his place as of late. Yeah, it used to be. It used Hopefully. to be Graves, Graves, Corky, Ezreal. One of those three, or you, you're not doing very well. Back Wait and in, see if he locks that in. Back in IPL five, that's that's how it was. All right, he does lock that in. Yeah, this is a. I'm not, I'm not too sure I agree with this because just looking at the the lane matchups, or looking at the lane matchups in the beginning, you have an Ezreal Lulu versus Tarek Graves. Ezreal Lulu very safe, able to poke you guys down from afar, whereas Tarek Graves really rely on kills early on. 
especially on that purple side. You know, they can't go and start the double golems. Uh, they lack that, so you're not going to be able to, to get that quick level 2 and burst them down like normal. Uh, you look, you know, Sijuani in the jungle, pretty close, uh, pretty slow clear speeds, but once she catches you with her permafrost, you, you're not getting away. No, That's just Sijuani's strength. Not. And definitely a hard, a hard engage, whereas, you know, the purple team doesn't really have an engage right now. The the best they have is you know Zed ult in or, or Pantheon ult in behind them. Pantheon ult, yeah. They don't really have a uh, an, a, any mode to catch other than a few stuns. They can't. Oh, they do have the Lux mine. You, know, you can't can't forget about the Lux mine. No, but uh, one thing I have to say is I actually kind of like Terra Graves' lane. It's very aggressive, and now that we're just waiting, I can go ahead and you know, move remove that so you can see their summoners. And I, I actually really like Tarot Graves. They're really strong early game, and it's going to give them a little extra armor. So, like I said, Graves falling off a little bit, but he still does, you know, a lot of damage and you know, things like that. Sejuani, I haven't seen a Sejuani play in, in you know, a few, quite a few weeks, so we'll have to see how that goes. But I definitely can see a little bit of, you know, a team comp forming with Ichigo and friends. And purple team, a little bit less direction, but I think they're really going for, you know, a catch. You know, they're trying to pick people off because they got the Zed. They they got Zed, who's highly mobile. They got, you know, the Pantheon stun, the Terex stun, the Pantheon jump, the Lux laser, the Graves ult. They have lots of, you know, reach. Absolutely. If they if they ever catch someone out, that, that person is locked down, and they're not getting away. Uh, they w They will have a hard time. I believe managing, especially if that Singe gets going and rolling, I believe they'll really have a hard time stopping him. There's only there's uh, only one champion that gets rolling, and that's Ramus. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Big puns for the win. <laughs> I got a zillion of them. We were, there was a debate in chat about it. like Or not a debate, but like a, a giant like thing of League puns. I forget who was posting them, but... Uh, um, as you know, it's going back to the chat. Big Polar actually pointed it out. Uh, my biggest concern with their pick is Pantheon right now. Pantheon's not really a, it's not a strong pick against a Sins or a Rumble. Sins basically can dominate anything melee in his top lane. Rumble will be going mid. Uh, so you know, either way, if Pantheon goes against Rumble, you know his shield's not gonna stop the magic damage, the the flame spitter that Rumble puts out. And his shield also doesn't stop the flings and the poison, so I, I'm not really sure where Pantheon fits into this. But if they picked it, I'm sure they can make it work. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see about this. And Pantheon did take teleport; he's going to be all over the map. And an extra stun in a certain place never hurt anybody. I really thirty think seconds going into the game. Yep, I uh, I really think that uh, this game. You know, I'd have to give early. I'd have to give it early game advantage, definitely to purple team. But you know, I I really I really don't know if this game is callable. I mean, maybe the purple team has a really weird way of doing things. They do have a lot of AOE too. If if they can catch one person, they do have. They do have like, you know, pretty much a, like a lot of bursts. They have the Zed, you know, AOE. They have Pantheon, so we're gonna have to see how this works. You know, I I think this is just gonna be a game that we're just gonna have to watch. Pretty much, we're just going to have to call it as it goes, because it can really go either way. Pantheon is very, very scary if he can get farmed up, get some early kills. You know, he He's kind of someone that he either goes, he snowballs really hard, or he just falls off. So you kind of have to get him going. I think that's what the teleport's going to be for. Get him some, some gang spot lane, kind of help Zed control the map. Now, one thing I have to say is just... Not not calling any judgment because ranked ELO isn't everything, but it you know it is it is a little bit of a status symbol when you earn your way up and you know carry your way up. Uh, they they definitely have a lot higher of an ELO curve. Absolutely, but you know it also says a lot for the purple team because they've made it this you far. Know, look at all the teams in that we've seen so far, and they've made it this far. So, yeah. so they must uh, they must be doing something that's working out for them. Yeah, so we'll we'll see how this game goes, and hopefully they at least give Ichigo a good fight. Yeah, of course, after Ichigo unleashes Bankai, he just can't be stopped. 
you know, unless they have an Aizen on their team. I, I know nothing about Bleach, so... <laughs> I'll be sure to make all the uh, the Bleach references then. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not really an anime or manga person. I, I've read a few and watched a few, but... Um, we actually got a question coming from MLG's Karma World in the chat. Is it really viable for Pantheon to have teleport when his ult can cover half the map? His ult can cover half the map if you know if he's top lane. But having that teleport, he's able to jump down bot lane and help Tarek with an additional stun if as long as they ward clearly. Um, if Pantheon, you know, if they were to do something crazy like send Lux top lane and you know Pantheon mid, Pantheon could cover the whole map. With his ult, so he wouldn't really need to teleport. Also, in this case, he's uh, able to cover the whole map. Yeah. Also, say Pantheon does get hurt, or say gets a first blood and gets really low, and he's scared of jungle pressure, he could just back Welcome by and then teleport back. It's, ring. it's, it's an investment over maybe having an ignite to get a kill or an exhaust to you know save a team member. So you really gotta, you really gotta say, well, what am I investing by taking teleport over this other spell? Absolutely, and I, I think it, I think it's a better pick all the way around because since someone's tanky enough, where Pantheon's not really going to be able to burst him down, so he just needs to be able to hold him off, make sure he can't, you know, run wild and split switch all day, and then teleport into the team fights where he needs to be. Very true, and we almost saw a little invade there, but just placing that ward, it's a good way to watch the jungler. And it's just an overall good ward to, you know, have. It, it helps spot early aggression. It also helps spot where that jungler starts. Yeah, both teams are, are just playing this very safe. Yeah, this far in the tournament, they're not really going to want to do much else. They're, they're going to want to play it safe, and they're going to want to, you know, really, they really just want to get on to the next round. And the next round, whoever makes it on is going to be very interesting because we're either going to have Nerve or we're going to have uh, uh, Theta. And both teams very, very skilled. Both teams have been in the tournament before, and you know they just did phenomenally. Absolutely. Kind of looking at these starting items, uh, Rumble starting with 11 health potions and a ward, so he's just looking <laughs> to stay in lane forever. Uh, you know, Sin starting with the Cloth 5, you know, Season 2 old school start right there for some junglers. And Pantheon looks like he's going to try to go for an early Philosopher's Stone. Get that mana regen just to last longer. Maybe he knows that he can't beat Singed early game, so maybe that's maybe that might be a pretty smart buy. I'm playing pretty standard right now. Uh, yeah. Bot lane, Tarek and Graves will be late getting back to lane because uh, they were up there defending their red buff. So hopefully they don't fall too far behind. Ichigo probably a, a little bit threatening, especially since this team watched that last game. They might be scared. So I think that, that you know they're really just trying to be safe and they really don't want to mess up. But, you know they really need that confidence too to be able to you know just carry home. Oh, one thing I noticed is that a new person is playing AD carry, and it looks like Pantheon gets dove on. She has he has that permafrost. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get away from this poison taking down, and that is first blood for Ichigo. And it friends. Is, it is not the start they wanted. Granted, it was a blessing that Sejuani got that kill over Sins, but you know, it's it's definitely not a start they want. Getting Sins ahead is just never a good idea. Definitely not. And yeah, one thing I noticed is is Ezreal is uh, the person who's playing Ezreal this game is actually the person who is playing Rumble. So they just swapped up a little bit. Decided, hey, I want to play AD this time. So maybe very they, they have different champion pools. That's very interesting, actually. You can't really prepare, you know, for Ichigo's playstyle if you can go mid and ADK and then just swap it up. Yeah, very true. Oh, it looks like Singed like might get caught out here. Getting exhausted, getting slow, but they're just walking the poison. Lux does flash, misses the binding. So unfortunately, Singed will walk away, and now Lux looks like she could be in trouble. But Pantheon, very nice roam, Ichigo being taken fairly low here. Zed putting on a lot of damage, and that Pantheon spear will hit Rumble right in the engine, causing him to explode and the Yordle to fall on the ground pretty hard. That was an excellent turnaround right there. And uh, actually, we missed the action because of all that bot lane, but Graves did get taken out. He was just poked down, and you know, Lulu landed her Glitter Lance, and... Uh, Israel just ended up picking up that kill. 
You're right, I didn't even notice that. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, but as we can see, you know, Ezreal, Ezreal Lulu, very, not only safe lane, but very strong early game. Almost, uh, almost as strong as countering aggression as they are in causing it. Yeah, absolutely. That Glitter Lance is, is very strong. A lot of poke. Huge slow. It just, it's incredible. Pantheon just, Pantheon's having a rough day up top right now. He's getting flung around. You know, normally Pantheon's bashing people with his shield. Somehow, Sin is able to fling Pantheon by his shield. Interesting observation. Yeah, lots of, definitely lots of trading going on. Not always the best. And here comes Satwani again, missing a permafrost because of the fling. So Pantheon's going to get a little distance, but I think Sajwani will be able to close the gap again. Pantheon trying to do a little bit of a juke. Not sure if it's going to work, and they have that push warded. Finally deciding to just put some damage down. Pantheon taking quite a while to go down, actually. Again, singed early game and Sajwani pretty much most of the game. Don't have a lot of damage. Pantheon taking a true Spartan death, just not running. He decided to stand there and fight it out. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely a true Spartan death. So, let's take a look at the CS here. Just a little bit. Rumble definitely beating out Lux in the mid lane where it's, it looks like almost all the CS other than bot lane is pretty wildly in favor of Ichigo. Bot lane managing to keep it fairly equal. So kudos to Graves on that. Now if you had to pick one thing that that you know um, I think Tenic, the red team has to do in order to you know just kind of stop Ichigo from you know continuing to roll on and continuing to apply all this pressure, wh what would you say? They're really going to have to put all their faith into their carries. Uh, actually, Lux going down right now mid lane. Rumble went in and ignited him, just to be able to burst him down so fast. Uh, that equalizer. But, but going back to uh, going back to what I was saying, you know, they really put their faith in Graves and Lux. Uh, they're, they're really going to be the ones that are going to have to carry this game. They're going to have to get them strong to where Lux can land a binding and be able to burst someone down. And then the rest of the team just clean it up, and then they have that four, four v five engage. Uh, but it's going to be tough because they're going against such a tanky team with Sizwani and Sin. You know, both those champions late game get very, very tanky. So it's it's going to be a rough road. Oh, Graves but taking it's a lot of damage. Sorry to interrupt you there, but he will end up escaping. And now it looks like Pantheon maybe going down here again. Aggression all over the map. Is Pantheon going to get taken down here if Singed has a fling? Yep. Down goes Pantheon again, like you were saying earlier. Just a rough game. Yeah. I, I think they could have had a better pick than Pantheon in this case. Uh, anything you know, that's got some kind of range, like even if they would have maybe sent Zed top lane, uh, I think that would have been a little bit better against Singed because you know, Zed does have the potential to burst Singed down. Singe, just doing singe things, flinging people and poisoning them. Up in top lane up here. He's gonna. This is a situation you don't want to be in. A 2 0 singe, you know, eight minutes into the game. They're already up ahead by, you know, 3k gold. Just not looking very pretty right now. It's okay, though, it's still anyone's game. The picks are a little bit in the favor of Ichigo, but. I think we'll really just need to see how this turns out. Ichigo obviously looking a little stronger though, and Ezreal getting stunned, but Ezreal just so much stronger than Graves right now. Graves taking so much damage, the Ignite is not enough to kill him, but Ezreal will Arcane Shift, and the little damage proc from Arcane Shift will pick up that kill. And Singed, you know, Singed, you know, continuing to bully Pantheon, just backing going back with all that bully money and able to get that catalyst. He, he's definitely going for that Rod of Ages, which just gonna it's gonna scale so well with him and, and just make Pantheon stay even worse. But yeah, you know, I, I really don't know what what I would suggest in this case for the top lane. I think Pantheon just needs to to farm it safe, do his best to to farm under tower, and just wait for Zed and Lux to be able to, to pull off a triple gank on him. Really think that's what they're gonna need to happen right now. Rumble just sitting in a bind there, throwing out a few cues. Pretty, <laughs> pretty humorous. Pantheon playing leapfrog. 
<laughs> Looks like he jumped to Singed and then jumped again. It's pretty pretty funny animation. Singed pretty much wanting a kill right here, slowly whittling down Pantheon. But, you know, if he dives that tower again, he could. Actually, no, Pantheon's going to leave the safety of his tower and, and Flash will be expended. Oh, he might come back in on this. Zed is uh, waiting back in the shadows there. Hopefully he can, they can pull something off with this. Pantheon did burn his flash, so they're going to have a flash engage. Lux, Lux actually... Also, Lux also was roaming up there, but she's actually decided backing. to back. Yeah. I don't know that I agree with that. I think they could have possibly pushed for an advantage there. Looks like Sejuani does come in, and Rumble is there also, hitting a very long-ranged equalizer. And Sejuani, of course, doesn't do much damage, but she has a slow, and she's pretty damn tanky. Yeah, that was, that was a beautiful play. Zed coming around. He might be able to catch Sejuani out right now and get himself a kill. There goes Zed. So much damage, but Sejuani just going over the wall, and Lulu oh. putting the shield. Ezreal is now in trouble, but again, Zed not able to do anything. Very good shield by Lulu. She's actually uh, she's actually maxing her health picks right now, uh, so that's I know I like to max the glitter lance on Lulu, uh, so that decision right there just simply is what saved Sejuani's life right there. You're probably right, and uh oh, looks like Lux might have disconnected. I think I think that they might have. Pantheon <laughs> trying to teleport out of that Sid gang. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't think, work out. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a rage quit or if that was a legitimate disconnect, but I think uh, at this point in the game, just 11 minutes, 7 kills down, they might be pretty discouraged. Yeah, you know, just looking at the gold count, there's 16,000, 16.7 thousand on the blue team, and then 11.2 for red. Wow, just instantly, Zed was bursted down right there. Dark, this though. team is just scary. Very. Even with that stun, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do much to Ezreal at all. Ezreal having, you know, a Doran's and a Vamp Scepter. And oh, the Sejuani all coming out of nowhere. The slow is applied on both of them. Ezreal shoots the ultimate, do so much damage. And there goes the kill. Going to Sejuani, not doing much damage, but Ezreal's all pulled the brunt of the work right there. Doing a lot of damage to Graves. This is I'm kind of at a loss for words. Pantheon is just getting flung around like a rag doll, top lane. Like, Singed has no regard for his tower. You know, what's a tower? I'm Singed. He's going to do Singed things. He's coming down on Dragon. Looks like he's going to try to advance that gold lead a little bit better. Definitely. And that that will be a pretty much free Dragon. I'm not sure there will be able anything actually the red team can do. At this point in the game, they are pushed back one tower and nine kills at only the 12 minute mark, so the 13 minute and, uh, mark. And Lux still is not reconnected, so they're down one person as well on top of this disadvantage. You know, I, don't, you know, I don't normally like to call games early, but I just feel like there's a. It's a dark game. Yeah. It'd have to definitely do a lot of things, starting with getting Lux back, but. Looks like Singe might be in trouble here, but as you know, Singe, incredibly tanky. He's just going to be able to run, and the poison dealing so much damage behind him. Singe just running through his tower, taking as long of a route as he can. Zed going to try to cut down here to try to cut him off. Graves also there, but Graves just not paying attention. He's not going to be able to do that, and it looks like Ezreal might be able to take down Graves here. Just dive the tower, but a nice little quick draw away. And again, Graves didn't notice that Singe, so... He wasn't really able to just, you know, go help him and, or go smoke screen to slow him down or you know, he wasn't there to support his team. I think, I think with that decision, uh, if Graves would have left the tower, they would have gave up the tower and still might not have been able to kill Singed just because of how tanky he is and he had that ult up. So I think he just chose to stay there and try to defend the tower. Very good uh, point. He, and he ended up defending it successfully and no one died because of it, whereas... You know, Graves was getting bullied down by Israel. He could have, you know, if he would have been low enough, ran in and seen has got a fling on him. Could have been the end of Graves as well. Uh, yeah, you know, I think they just really need to play as safe as they can. Avoid all team fights. You know, farm up. Hope that Lux comes back. Yeah. Uh, and then somehow catch Lux up in this game. Yeah, unfortunately, 
that the disconnect was you know, after a restart game. And it looks like there goes the equalizer. Ezreal doing so much damage, but getting stunned. Tarek, very nice stun there, but Rumble able to close gap. And now Tarek is hit with the slow. They do have a tower, but Ichigo doing so much damage. And Pantheon up in the top lane, also taking a lot of damage. Hits his, uh, his spears the opposite way. And looks like Zed's just going to be able to hold this tower. He's not really going to be able to do anything about this Singed. Singed very strong. Has his Roa and a Chain Vest by 15 minutes. Singed is very scary right now. Oh, Zed might be able to pick up this kill actually if he can do enough damage with that mark. Poison Almost down. Down on Zed. Ezreal ult might have been a little better sent top lane. Might have gotten a kill on Zed. Would have been pretty hilarious. This is, uh, the game has definitely told its story for us right now. Looking at the kills, 12 to 1, uh, gold count, 25.7 now to 14.4. Four towers in the favor of Ichigo and friends. Definitely, and we see another tower. It's going to be five, and that's going to bring the total gold lead up even more. I think at this point in the game, it's pretty much pretty much in Ichigo's favor. Absolutely. They're going to need to, uh, you know, Red Team is going to need to grab some sort of, you know, fantastic play catching out, you know, two members, grabbing Baron, and then pushing. Which I don't uh, think is even possible. They they just don't have the damage. Yeah, not at this point. As real a whole Bloodthirster and a zeal over Graves. Just noticing that probably being the biggest gap, and there goes a pause. We went ahead and a uh, little bit late. Yeah, you know? definitely late. Judging by the chat, I don't think uh, I don't think the red team knew that they could pause necessarily. Uh, they actually Ichigo and friends actually offered that option to them after they realized Lux had DC. So a good guy, Ichigo and friends. Yeah, and it, it it does take, as you know, a few minutes for them to realize that. That uh, to for the it to announce that the other team has a DC. We do have Lux back in the game, uh, right now. Maybe too little, too late. But we'll have to see. And Singe, of course, doing more Singe things, being a pretty big bully to Zed. But here comes the teleport. Pantheon coming in. Just gonna do it. To be there purely as. Uh, Flash oh, trying to dash into the forest. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to people, hide there. Four people going on Singe right now, top lane. That's what Singe does. So much, so many things being blown on Singe. They're just not able to lock him down. Pantheon might get taken down here, though. There goes the Sejuani ult. Going to be doing a lot of damage and catching Tarek out there. There comes the Ed's ult. I don't know if that hit Tarek or not. It looked like it did, but I'm not sure if it did. And there comes Zed trying to finish off Singe, but Lulu all comes in, and Sejuani gets a double kill. They're just going to go ahead and push down this inhibitor. Graves just kind of you know, letting them know he's there. In case they want to get buckshot in the face, they'll come at him. You know, Hopefully you can scare him off. He does wield a mighty large weapon. <laughs> well... This might be one of the final pushes here. Or they might just take the inhibitor back out. As we've seen Ichigo, even when they're ahead, they like to be very careful. They're not the, let's you know finish this, let's hurry, let's push our advantage. They're the, you know, we could do this, or we could just take the incredibly safe route, and we could just get it later. As we saw from that last game, that's pretty much how, how their whole game went. Uh... We have the Warden's Mill, Glacial Shroud, and the Rod of Ages now on Singe. So as if he wasn't tanky enough before, you know, now it's even worse. Sijuani went ahead and picked up that Warmogs in that last buy, so she's even tanky. I think they're going to look in this here soon. Definitely. Uh, and as you can see, members, both teams just backing Rumble, getting that Haunting Guys, having a Haunting Guys, getting Seeker's Arm Guard. I think he might be sitting on a chunk of gold there. Yeah, he's sitting. It looks like he is sitting on quite a chunk of gold. Oh, never mind. Sitting on 700, but that's still an upgradable amount of gold. Singed again, just kind of just doing everything. 
<laughs> he might be looking to pick on Lux, which isn't very nice, Singe. She would disconnect it. But Singe looking to just 2v1. But Singe could be taken down here. He is taking a lot of damage, but there goes the Equalizer. Pantheon stepping in the Equalizer and taking just enough damage to make it so Sejuani can pick up that kill. And again, Ichigo just pushing towers and... I think even though they are very carefully and calculated, this could be the end for Ichigo. This might be the victory push. Yeah, that, there's nothing they can really do to defend at this point. If Lux not DC'd, there'd be a better chance. Uh, with her being so far behind, they could definitely defend this game right now. Yeah, definitely. Sajwani almost going down to Tarek there. That would have been funny. And I think they might get to 20 minutes, which means that if they wanted to, they could do a double surrender. That might be fun. Let's see a double next to Sturdy Explosion. So this is going to be the last fight. Ezreal being dove on by Tarek, and I guess he's being pushed back. Ezreal actually had the flash there. Yeah, they could have bursted him down. Very Look. good. Ichigo, again, playing it really safe. Probably could have ended the game there, but choosing not to. That passive play style that we saw from them in that last performance. Definitely, and it worked. So... You know, we can't really complain. It's, it works for them, and it works for a lot of teams. A lot of teams, just, they want to close out games carefully, and they don't want to overextend their edge, which, you know, sometimes can be a, a curse, but, you know, most of the time it's it's really a blessing to know how to properly close out a game. I mean, so, but just sometimes you just miss certain opportunities. Absolutely. It looks like uh, Ichigo and friends are just going to go ahead and push their lead even farther. It looks like they're heading in towards Baron. It's going to go ahead and secure that, and then probably go in and end the game. See, normally if you take an inhibitor early in the game, it can be a benefit. You know, just it can be a general benefit to the red to someone like the red team because they can just sit there and farm it again. Just singe, frozen heart, giant's belt, rod of ages. He's just so tanky and doesn't do much damage. But then again, he doesn't need to since he's just being the biggest bully, like just trolling around their base, getting binded, not really caring all that much. And he's just on a friendly neighborhood jog right now. Jog through the enemy's face. Oh, Pantheon jumping. Getting taken pretty low by that tower, actually. And he might go down here. Yes, Singe is shut down. Singe has been killed. There's a hope. little too cocky there. Trying to 1v5. Having a little too much fun. As you can see, there here comes the Sejuani all coming in. As you can see, Lux being taken fairly low, although the binding does go out on Sejuani. Ezreal, Paki, and Ichigo show up. So unfortunately, they're not really going to be able to do anything. Zed tries to go in, but Ezreal, again, has that Bloodthirster and that attack speed from Shiv. Not going to be able to do anything with that much lifesteal on Ezreal. And this is going to be GG. Sejuani gets shut down by Graves. Graves picking up a quick kill there with the Fountain's assistance. And that will be GG. Excellent game uh, played by Ichigo and friends. You know, just further showing why they deserve to to move to the finals and possibly win this tournament. I will say, though, uh, I do have to give props to the people who played in that last game, to uh, Ten, ten uh, C. Yeah, uh, Teen C, uh, however they pronounce their name. I apologize if I'm butchering it, but I have to give props to them. Not only do they make it this far, but just, you know, even if you're even if you're not, you know, Mr. Big Shot, you know, you have the courage to, you know, put yourself out there and try. And ultimately, trying is what you want. And, yeah. Absolutely. They, just to make it this far, they show that they do have what it takes to move farther in the future. You know, we, th with this tournament happening every week, they can go back, they can look at what they did wrong in this past game, you know, improve on it, and then just come back and possibly, you know, beat Ichigo next time.